Okay, so now let's begin to lay the foundation for how to find this algorithm, how to, how to do this. All right, so we want to talk about the notion of an augmenting path. So suppose you have a network Here's your source, and here's your sink. And suppose I can find edges in here which look like this. Now, that is a path in the directed graph sense that goes from the source to the sink. Every one of those edges has both a capacity and currently it has a flow. I want to use two English words. What would I mean if I said that an edge is full? Pardon? So isn't that a natural word? You say an edge is full when the flow on it is exactly equal to its capacity. In those pictures, we saw several edges which are full. Their current flow is equal to their current capacity. What would it mean if I said an edge is empty? Obviously, just, you just mean the flow on the edge is zero. Nothing, no, no oil is going through the pipe. All right, now look at those edges. Suppose all are not full. Just suppose. So let me write, suppose all of them are not full. Can you change this flow in a way that increases the value? And how would you do that? Add what? So if they're not full, they have like a spare capacity. This one might have a spare capacity of 35. What does that mean? The difference between the capacity and the flow is 35. This one has a spare capacity of 17. This one has a spare capacity of 100. This one has a spare capacity of 9. This one has a spare capacity of 43. This one also has 43. This one also has 43. This one has 82. How do I increase this flow? You increase by the minimum. So, the, and, and I was just rattling off some numbers, but I think the minimum one was nine. So you increase the flow on every one of these edges by nine, and you make no other changes anywhere else. Okay, so the value of the flow, it, whatever used to be going out, it's now nine more. Whatever used to be coming in, it's now nine more. So I've got the conservation law at the source and the sink. Now, the, the only changes I have made are along this path. I made no other changes. So the conservation law used to, occur, used to apply right here. Amount in equals amount out. 
Those two amounts have both changed. How have they changed? They've gone up by nine. So it's still the case that the amount in equals the amount out at this vertex. All right, now take a vertex not on this path. Is the conservation law holding? Well, all the edges incident with it are the same. All the flows are the same. So it satisfied over here still is. No change. Okay, but the value of the flow has gone up by nine. So if you can find an augmenting path like that, then you can increase the value of the flow. All right. All right. By inspection, look at that and see if you see an augmenting path. Can you get from the source to the sink following a path where every edge is not full? So I can't even leave going to, to E because that's full. I can go to B. I can't go to C. I, the only way to leave on an edge which is not full is to go to B. Now how can you leave B on an edge which is not full? All the edges leaving B are full. So you can't get from the source to the sink with an augmenting path. 